Hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today I'm finally here for my breakdown on All For One. I didn't realize how popular he was until everyone was requesting him, so here we go. He, he is a very screen control based character, which is really interesting, um, I would be tempted to say overpowered projectiles at times that he can charge up. Um, he has this weird teleport where he actually teleports the opponent to him instead of the other way around, which most characters do. He has really long range grabs, mixing people up, and that's about him in a nutshell. He's good at controlling the screen and just being all my guests. Okay, getting into his ta attack strings. His base attack string does three hits before it goes into this like spike grab thing. Uh, usually you combo after the last. Uh, the third hit because it's a bit weird getting combos off of the spike situation. The air is, the combo is quite similar, except there's only two hits before he goes into the spike situation. Even though it's a bit hard to get, in, um, it's a bit easier to get after the spike situation from the air. But I still don't do it that often. Usually I cancel after the first two hits. Um, his yellow attack on the ground is this really like crazy looking uppercut move which can obviously be dash cancelled off of, um, and it can be comboed into. What is here? And yeah, you can get combos off of it if you want to extend this way. His air armor attack is this unusual, like, grab, so he charges at you, and then he grabs you and goes into this animation. You can't get any um, button cancels afterwards unless you dash cancel. So yeah, it's an interesting looking um, very different to other ones in the game. His red attack is, is this. It's not crazy overpowered. It's not very long ranged. It seems like he's going to run forward, but then he doesn't. But up close, it's pretty, like, decently fast. And it's good because it can go into combos. Like, all of good red attacks do. All the best red attacks do. Okay, let's get into his quirk buttons. So his quirk one is this projectile. It's kind of actually like All Might's quirk one projectile, except it reaches a bit further. It's not full screen though, as you can see Baku goes safe from, like, this distance. But where it gets interesting, as I'm sure you've experienced online, is he can hold the button down. And if you hold it down for a little bit, he'll glow blue once, and then there'll be this really fast projectile that is I like to use sometimes because it's a lot. It's more like unreactable. The third level, which I'm going to show you, obviously, is a lot harder, a lot easier to react to, but it's a lot bigger. But this one I find catches hitting people a lot more. If they're like sidestepping or like running around, it's more typical to catch them and they don't see it coming because it's really fast. Um, but obviously, the second charge is what you're used to seeing online. This humongous projectile that does 8 hits and does a lot of damage. And uh, you can charge it uh, off of like when you're in recovery frames from doing something like a sidestep. See like I'm charging it now. Where I should be. But you can also charge it off of his attacks. So if I go into something and when you press it in frames that you can't actually cancel it, you can charge it while you do things. Which is what I use in most of his combos. But yeah, when you're zoning, a lot of people like to charge up to level 2, and understandably, because it is this humongous projectile that does a lot of damage. His tilt quirk 2, oh by the way, um his regular quirk one is just it's Projectile in the air, works the same in the air. Okay, now for his tilt quirk one. It is this unusual teleportation move. So it teleports the opponent to you, and they are in the air briefly, and you can attack them. And as you can see, I can actually attack before Bakugo truly hits the ground. So he, even though it kind of looks like he's at, sort of at the ground, if I hit him a few times, you see, he falls up. So he's not actually on the ground, which means, in order for the opponent to block your attacks after this, they have to just guard, which a lot of people aren't very good at doing online, so basically, this is a free full screen combo starter, in practically every circumstance. 
I don't think I've ever fought anyone who knows how to consistently just guard at the moment. Especially with unknown, uh, not common characters like all for one. So yeah, the only way you can block the things coming up after this is with the just guard. And if they do end up just guarding, just go in for your red attack. If you can. If they're really like looking for the just guard, you can just do your red attack. So yeah, that's a really good move if, you know, when you're zoning them out and throwing your projectiles and stuff, and they're trying to run around or they think they can throw something at you, do this, just suck them at you, and then go in with some combos. Okay. His quirk 2 is this that you have obviously seen me using. It acts practically the exact same way All Might's quirk 2 does. You can get more hits than All Might can, which I find kind of sad. Actually, no, you can get the exact same amount of hits. Sorry. And it just does a lot of damage, it has a lot of hits, and it's a really good wall splat, obviously, since he sends you flying so far. And this is going to be your main combo extender with all for one, because you can cancel um, on other buttons into it, so I can cancel that into that. Or, actually, yeah, that's about it. You can cancel it into his projectile. <coughs> and it's a good combo extender if you want to dash cancel after it in the air to get a bit more extended damage. You catch him in the air. So yeah, it's a really good move, does a lot of damage, and as you see, it has armor frames at the beginning, so it can work as a yellow attack. Um, yep, yeah, that's about that move. Now for his tilt quirk 2, it is this unusual spike grab move. So if you just tap it, it just grabs him, and you awkwardly sit there and do zero damage. Or actually, 1,700 damage. <coughs> But, when you're holding them, you can press the Quirk 2 button multiple times and it'll send these surges through it to do some more damage. And at any point during the hold, you can do Tilt Quirk 2 again and you'll go into his Rapid Strike attack again. And you can actually do it after some of the surges. So the max I found you'd be able to get in is 4 surges and then you suck them in. So what I usually do is grab them, one, two, three, four, suck them in, and then go for this. And then that's 6,600 damage for what is essentially one single special move, like one single quirk button, which is really amazing. And if you hold it, after a while, it becomes a red attack. And you can send through a few more surges before they get dropped to the ground. So I find I can get about 5 in instead of 4. And what's really great about this red attack is, if you may not have realized, but it is a lot longer reaching than the other one. So if I do it from over here... He's... Okay, maybe not that far. Maybe about here? No, 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 that's, that's not showing it well. Like here? He's gonna get caught by that. It's really long range, it's crazy. So like, if they're, you know, seeing your projectiles, your huge projectiles are coming at them a lot, and they're getting a bit defensive and stuff, they think you're gonna do the teleport or something. If you jump in the air, they think you're gonna do a projectile. You charge this up, not from that far. <coughs> and you get to grab them. So yeah, it's a really good move. Oh yeah, look, that was probably about max range. And you can go in for... Easy high damage combos. That wasn't optimal at all. But you can see the point, you get damage from it. Okay. Now that we're done with the buttons, let's go into his combos. All for one. In general, there's one combo that's a bit difficult that I like to usually go for, as is bread and butter. Um, I guess just quick side note, if you don't have any meter, the most damage you're probably going to be getting is not that. Yeah, about 7,300 damage, which is pretty good for meterless. No dash cancels and no assists. But, 
where he gets more damage is if you do a dash cancel, obviously. So, and as you may have seen in there, after the um, his tilt quirk, his quirk two started up, I was holding down his quirk one to charge up his projectile while I was in the move, which is quite hard to do. And I actually have to put both of my hands onto the button pad to do that. So while I'm mashing quirk two with my right thumb, I'm holding down quirk one with my left thumb. So and it will look like this. And oh, I think we already had it charged up then. Wait, it'll look like this. And then you can throw out the projectile, and you can dash cancel up the projectile to get lots of damage. Oops, you want to make sure you don't press that one too early. Okay, I have it charged up, dash cancel, and I like to dash cancel into the grab. And it'll look like this. One, two, three, four. And it's about 9,000, usually it does about 9,000, 10,000, or about 10,000 damage usually. Like, depends on how many hits of the um, big projectile hit, and that just depends on the wall and stuff. So it's not really control, but yeah. It does about 9,000, 10,000 damage, which is really good, because a lot of characters usually get 9,000 damage. So, you know, it's pretty good, pretty decent, easy damage. And you can extend it a bit more if you want, you can go... Not too bad. Oops. Oh, I didn't get the dash cancel. Sorry. One, two, three, four. And then dash cancel and do this again. And then that is an easy 11,000 damage combo, which is a lot more than 9,000 or whatever I got before. So he can get 11,000 with two dash cancels, and that's pretty good damage. That That's above average, I would say. And you, you can actually make that a little bit more, I believe, if you cancel into the other thing. So obviously, if you have the projectile already charged, you don't need to do the charging during the combo, which can make it a bit easier. There we go, 11,200 damage, 2 dash cancels, and it's not that hard to hit. So, even though it took me like 5 tries, but it's a pretty simple combo and I can hit it usually consistently online. So yeah, it's a pretty good combo that way. Um, he's pretty easy to do like simple combos with, like you can do 3 hits into his armor move or something, but I found uh, that combo that I was doing there. Like if you want a simple combo, you can do 3 hits into armor move, 2 hits into this. That does 7,000 damage, but if you want the high damage, you have to do this weird charge stuff into the projectile, dash cancel, this. And into it again. So actually, I changed my mind. They are quite hard input-wise. They're pretty difficult compared to other combos in the game. Um, but it's pretty rewarding. And if you just go into training mode for a little bit, then they're not that complicated. Um, yeah, that's some basically... I'm sorry to make this a short one, but that's basically all for one in a nutshell. He's really good at controlling the space. He has really overpowered tools, like with this projectile. Um, this teleport thing is really good for getting damage, because it's practically a combo starter online, because no one just guards it. So you can get easy damage off of it. That wasn't optimal or anything, so it didn't do that much. Um, he has a good red attack, so you can go, you know, do some attacks, and then go into his red attack. If you do... You can reset by doing something like that with his quick red attack. But yeah, he's very... I'd say he's a very... Free oh, I haven't even shown his plus ultra, sorry. You can add damage to the end of his combos by um, adding plus ultra since you can do it in the air. So I'll just quickly show you what that looks like. Um, 
Then you cancel into plus ultra one. And he gets an easy 16,000 damage combo, which is really high damage. I'd say that's above average for a plus ultra one combo. And yeah, now that's about Ulf one in a nutshell. You know, it's plus ultra two, I'll leave it with you. Um, a uh, high damage combo into that is probably just this. But anyways, while well, this goes, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm glad you guys suggested Ulf 1 because he's actually a really fun character. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown even though it was a bit shorter than others. And yeah, overall is really dominating just like he is in the manga or the anime. Hope you enjoyed watching!